welcome to this CUBE conversation. I'm John Furrier, host of the CUBE here in Palo Alto, California. It's a hybrid world. We're doing, still doing remote interviews. Of course, events are coming back in person, but more importantly, the conversations continue. We've got two great guests here. John Siegel, SVP, ISG Marketing at Dell Technologies, and Dave McGraw, VP, Office of the CTO at VMware. Gentlemen, great to see you. Uh, moving forward with Dell Technologies and VMware, great partnership. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, uh, great to be back. Yeah, hi John, thanks for having us. You know, the world's coming back to kind of real life. Omicron virus is out there, but it's, people say it's not going to be as bad uh, as we think, but looks like events are happening. Um, but more importantly, the cloud native, cloud operations is definitely forcing lots of great new things happening, new innovations on premises and at the edge. A lot of new things happening. Dell and VMware both have been working together for a long time now. VMware is a separate company. We'll get to that in a second. But let's get to the partnership. What's new? What's changed uh, with the relationship? Yeah, so I mean, just to, to kick that off and, and certainly Dave can chime in, but I think in a word, you know, John, nothing changes uh, in, in terms of from our customers perspective. I mean, in many ways, our joint relationship has never been stronger. Uh, we put a ton of investment in both joint engineering innovation, uh, joint go to market uh, over the last several years. Um, and and we've really been making what was our vision a couple of years ago, a reality. Um, and we only expect that to continue. And I think much of the reason we expect that to continue is because we have a shared vision of this distributed multi-cloud, you know, cloud native modern app uh, environment that customers want to, uh, to drive. Yeah, and John, I would add that we've been building, you know, platforms together for the last five years. A, a great example is VxRail. You know, we, it's a market leading technology that we've co-engineered together. And now it's a platform that we're actually building out use cases on top of, whether it's mm -hmm. multi-cloud solutions, whether it's private and hybrid cloud, or uh, including Tanzu for developer environments. You know, we're using uh, the investments we made and then we're layering in and building more value into those investments together. And we, we put agreements in place, by the way, that, uh, you know, multi-year agreements around commercial arrangements and partnering together, as well as our technology collaboration together. So we feel really confident about the future and, and that's what we're communicating to our customer base. You know, yeah, and they just, go ahead, sorry, John. No, go ahead, go ahead. I was going to say, just to build on that, as, as you said, I mean, really, when I say not much changes, I mean, VMware's always been an open ecosystem partner, right? With, with its OEM vendors out there. And, and, and it's, I think the difference here is Dell is, has made a strategic choice and a decision to make a significant investment in, in uh, joint innovation, joint engineering, joint testing uh, for VMware environments. And so I think a lot of this comes down to the commitment and focus that we've already made uh, you mentioned VxRail, which is a fantastic example where we've, at Dell, we've invested our own uh, investment in our own IP, you know, IT, ATI system software. That's sort of the secret ingredient that, the secret sauce that delivers that single click, you know, automated lifecycle management experience. And we're investing uh, lots of dollars in test labs just to ensure that customers always have that, um, you know, that seamless experience. You know, one of the benefits of doing theCUBE for 11 years now, it's been that long, um, both EMC World and Dell World, back in the day was our first events we went to. We've watched you guys together over the years. One of the things that, that strikes to be consistently the same is this focus of end-to-end, -end, but also modularity, but also interoperability and kind of componentizing kind of the solution, not to oversimplify it, but this is kind of the big discussion right now as cloud scale, horizontal scale is with cloud resources are being put into the development stream where modern applications now are clear using only cloud native operations. That doesn't mean it's just cloud. I mean, it's cloud everywhere, but it's distributed computing. So this is kind of the original vision. If you go back even five years or more, you guys have been working on this. This is kind of an important inflection point because now it's well known that the modern application is going to have to be programmable under the hood, meaning everything's going to be scaling. Uh, and mm -hmm. rise of super clouds or new edge technologies, which is coming fast. This is the new normal. This is not something that we were talking about mainstream five years ago, but you guys have been working on this kind of simplicity solutions based approach. What's your reaction? That, that's that? right, John. I'll tell you, you remember at VMworld a couple of years ago, we announced Project Monterey. And you know, this was really uh, redefining uh, architecture for not only data center, core data centers, but also for cloud and edge environments. 
And so it's leveraging technology, you know, data uh, processing units, also known as smart NICs. Uh, you know, we're essentially redefining what that infrastructure looks like, making it more efficient, more performant, depending on the use case. So we've been partnering very closely with Dell to develop that technology, and it's going to really transform uh, what you see at the edge and what you also see in core data centers going forward. Yeah, yeah, and, and there's so many of those. I mean, I, I think it seems Monterey is a great example of one that we continue to invest in. I think there's also NVMe over TCP uh, is another, if you will, key ingredient to how customers going to, you know, essentially get the performance they need uh, out of their infrastructure going forward. And um, and so we were, you know, proud to be a, a partner there at the most recent VMware where we announced, you know, the, the ability to essentially automate uh, the integration of NVMe over uh, TCP um, uh, with a Dell EMC system integrated with vSphere. Uh, and that's yeah, that's a great example as well, right? I think there, there's countless. Yeah, and I'll tell you, we, we are so excited to see what Dell has done in the storage business with PowerStore X, where they've integrated vSphere, ESXi, into a storage array. And you know that creates all kinds of opportunities going forward uh, for better integration and really for plug and play of you know, the storage technology into cloud infrastructure. What's interesting yeah. about what you guys are talking about is remember the old DevOps movement, infrastructure as code. Okay, that became DevSecOps. That's a big yeah. part of Tanzu and security. Now it's all about devs, right? So now devs have all that built in and the, now the operations are the big conversation because um, one of the things that we pointed out in the queue recently um, is that you know VMware has owned the IT operations world in our opinion for a long, long time. Dell has owned the enterprise for a very long time in terms of infrastructure and, and frank solutions. The operational efficiency of cloud hybrid is really kind of what's the gateway to multi-cloud. This has been a big part of IT transformation. Can you guys share how you guys are working together to make that flexibility to, to transform from the old IT to the new IT? And what are some of the things that you're seeing uh, with your customers that, that can give them a, uh, a map of, of how to do this? Yeah, great. Yeah, so I, I would say, you know, one area in particular that we're really coming together is around Apex, right? From an as a service perspective. I think what Apex is really doing is, is really unifying much of what you just described. It's taking as a service, it's taking multi-cloud, uh, it's taking uh, cloud native development, if you will, and modern app development. Uh, and we're it, and we together have partnered to ensure that's a consistent experience for customers. And we have, you know, we have a number of new Apex cloud services uh, that, you know, that, that, that keep that in mind and that are built on joint innovations, like frankly, the X-Rail at the bottom of that, as, uh, as Dave said earlier. So for customers that are looking to get, you know, out of the managing, uh, out of managing infrastructure altogether, which we, you know, we're seeing more and more now. Uh, we, we recently announced the Apex cloud services with VMware Cloud, you know, which is again, a joint solution that'll be available soon. And it's a, it's one that is managed by Dell, but, you know, it gives customers that simplicity and scale of the, of the public cloud, but, certainly that control and security and performance, if you will, that they prefer to have um, in the private cloud. Yeah, and I think because, you know, the Apex cloud service is designed with VMware cloud, you have a capability that drives consistency and portability of workloads for customers. So they don't have to reskill and retrain to be able to manage the environment. They also are not locked in to any particular solution. They have this ability to move workloads, depending on what their, their needs are economically, performance, uh, you know, logistics requirements, uh, and they can react accordingly as they, uh, you know, digitize their business going forward. It's interesting, you guys are talking about this demand in a way, addressing this demand for as a service, which is, you know, can be one cloud or multiple clouds, but it's really more of an abstraction layer of right. what do you deploy to essentially create that connective tissue between what's existing, what's new, and how to make that all work together to again, satisfy the developer because the new apps are coming, right? They want more data is coming into them. So this is, kind of, is this the at sir, is this the as a service focus? Is that what's happening? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, the as a service focus is, is you know, at the end of the day is, is how we're going to really simplify this. We've, We've been uh, on this journey now for at least a year and, and uh, much more to go. And VMware has been a key partner here, you know, on that journey. So a number of cloud services we have, we've had Apex hybrid cloud, Apex private cloud, uh, you know, out there for some time. In fact, that's where we're getting a lot of the traction right now. And 
this new offering that's going to come out soon that we just mentioned with VMware Cloud is just going to build on that. And VMware, yeah, and the uh, VMware Cloud, yeah. Super Cloud, isn't it, Dave? Because you guys would be considered by our new definition of Super Cloud because you can sit on Amazon. You also have other other clouds too. So your customers Absolutely. can operate on any cloud. Our view is that you know, from a multi-cloud future for customers to be able to be on-premises with a you know Apex service to be able to be operating in a colo, to be able to operate in one of many different hyperscalers. You know, providing that consistency and flexibility is going to be key. And I think also you mentioned Tanzu earlier, John, you know, being able to have the customer have choice around whether they're operating with VMs and containers is really key as well. Yeah. So, you know, what Dell has done with Apex is they've set up again, another platform that we can just provide our SaaS offerings to very simply and easily uh, and, and deliver that value to customers in a consistent fashion going forward here. You know, I just love the term super cloud. Actually, I called it sub clouds, but Dave Vellante called it super clouds. But the, the idea is that you can have all the super power in the cloud capabilities, but it's also distributed clouds, right? You have edge, you've got the core, and the, the notion of a cloud isn't like one place anymore, it's just distributed computing. This is what the world now realizes. We, again, we've talked about the cube many times. So let's discuss this whole core to edge dynamic because if everything's cloudified, if you will, uh, or cloud operations, you've got devs and ops kind of working together with security, all that good stuff. Now you have almost a seamless environment where code can run anywhere, data should traverse anywhere, but the idea of an edge changes dramatically and certainly with 5G. So can you guys tie that edge computing story together and how Dell and VMware are addressing this massive growth at the edge? Yeah, I would say, you know, first and foremost, we are seeing a, a major shift, uh, as you mentioned, to, da to data being generated at the edge. It's, it's, I think Michael Dell has actually gone on record he's talking about the next frontier, right? So it, it's, it's especially uh, happening because we're seeing all these smart monitoring capabilities, IOT, right? At almost any endpoint now from retail, traffic lights, manufacturing floors, you name it. I think anywhere where data is being acted upon to generate critical insights, right? That's, that's considered an edge now. And we're expecting to see as IDC has already gone out there and st on record as saying 50% of the new infrastructure out there will be deployed at the edge in the next couple of years. So, um, and, and it's a different world, right? I mean, I think in terms of what's needed and what, what the challenges are, there's certainly a lack of specialized technical resources typically at the edge. Uh, there's typically a scaling issue. How do you manage all those distributed endpoints uh, and do so uh, succinctly? And how do, you, how do you ensure you lay any concerns around you know, security as well? So, um, you know, once again, we've had a very collaborative approach when it comes to uh, working on challenges like Edge. And, you know, we, again, common theme here, but VxRail, which is, is a leading, you know, joint uh, ACI offer in the market, uh, is the foundation of, of many of our Edge offerings out there in the market today. The, the new satellite nodes that we just announced um, just uh, a few months ago extends VxRail's, you know, value proposition uh, to the Edge uh, using a single node. Uh, deployment and, and it's it, it's really perfect for customers that don't have that local technical resource expertise or specialized resources and and it still has cyber resilience built right in. And John, so, you, just to follow up on that real quick before Dave chimes in. On the edge, compute has been a huge issue and I've talked with you yeah. guys about this too. You guys have the compute, you have the integrated systems now. Any update there on what VxRail is doing different or other edge power? <laughs> <laughs> power edge, <laughs> sound familiar? Um, we need some yes. more power at the edge. So what's what's new there? Well, you know, first of all, we had new power edge platforms, of course, come out, you know, in this past year. And, you know, there's, we, we're, we're building on that. I mean, VX, the latest VX rails, of course, leverage that, that power of power edge. Um, yeah, the, the, lots of uh, good naming here, I guess, right? Power edge. Uh, and uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but you know, it's it's you know it's at the the heart of much of what we're doing. We're taking a lot of our capabilities that have been IP like streaming data platform, which enables streaming video and real time analytics, and running that on a VxRail or PowerEdge platform. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're doing the same thing. You know, with uh, in the manufacturing side, we're working with partners that have IoT Edge platforms. Um, you know, and running those on uh, VxRail and PowerEdge. So we are we are taking very much the um, the idea here that yes you're right we with with our uh, rich resources uh, of infrastructure both with Power Edge and, and VxRail you know building on that but but working with partners like VMware and others 
uh, to collapse an integrated solution for the edge. And so we're seeing um, really good uptick so far. Dave, what's your take on the Dell Edge with, with VMware? Because automation's big theme, um, not moving data across the internet, that's obviously huge. Um, you got to have that operational stability there. Absolutely, and you know, to your point, being able to do the processing at the edge and move results around versus moving massive amounts of data around is really key to the future going forward. And you know, we've taken an approach with Dell where we're working with uh, customers, we're having uh, detailed conversations, uh, really using a tiger team approach around the use cases, manufacturing and retail being two of the real key focuses, healthcare, another one, where we're understanding customer requirements both today and where they want to go. And you know, so it's about distributed computing, certainly at the edge. Dell is coming out with some great new platforms that we're integrating our software with. At the same time, we have technology in SD-WAN and SASE that become part of that solution as well with VeloCloud. And we're developing a global network of points of presence that really will help support distributed application environments and edge uh, native application environments working with Dell going forward. That's great stuff. Uh, the next, next ending question is what's next? I want to just tee that up by bringing up what you kind of made me think of there, Dave. And this is key supply chain on both hardware and software, you talk about security. So when you, when you say those things, you're talking about in terms of functionality, the question is security, right? Both hardware and software supply chain with open source, with automation. I mean, this is a big discussion. What do you guys react to that about what's next? Yeah, I can tell you from a central engineering perspective, you know, we're looking at security compliance and privacy every day. We're working closely with Dell. In fact, we're in the middle of meetings today uh, in this area. And, you know, I look at a few key areas of investment that we're making collectively together. One is in the area of end-to-end -end encryption of data. So we're, mm -hmm. you know, for virtualized environments or containerized environments, being able to have end-to-end -end encryption uh, and, and manage in a very efficient way, the, the keys and maintain the data uh, compression and de deduplication capabilities for customers, you know, efficiency and cost purposes while being very secure. The second area we're working closely on is in zero trust. You know, being able to develop zero trust infrastructure across edge to core, to colo, to cloud, and making sure that, you know, we have reference designs available to customers with procedures, policies, best practices to be able to drive zero trust environments. John, what do yeah, you think? I, I think security is huge and you guys have, it literally could be the keys to the kingdom, pun intended. You guys are doing a lot of great security at the edge too, whether the traffic stays with the edge or goes across the network. That's right, I mean, security is, is yeah, no, like you said, it's been a, it's been a joint focus and initiative um, across much of our portfolio for quite a while now. And I think, you know, you, you asked what's next and I, I think, you know, the sky's the limit right now. I mean, we've got the shared vision, right? And I think at the end of the day, you know, we've got, we've, we've shared a number of joint initiatives that are ongoing right now with Project Monterey, uh, obviously our integration with Tanzu and a number of solutions we have there uh, around Apex, uh, et cetera. I think we have complementary capabilities. You mentioned, um, you know, areas, you know, like, you know, supply chain areas like security, um, you know, and, and I think these, these are all things that we both do well together. And the thing I will say that I think is probably most key to us sustaining this, this great execution together is, is our collaborative cultures. I, I think, you know, it, there's something to be said for what we've built, you know, uh, over these last several years, you know, um, around these collaborative cultures, working together on, on joint roadmaps and focusing on really end of the day, solving our customers' biggest challenges, whatever those may be, you know? And, and so um, at the end of the day, behind us, we have the greatest supply chains, you know, services, support, and innovation engines. Um, but I think, the, you know, I think that the passion and our groups working together, I think is, um, is going to be key to us going forward. Well, great stuff. Moving forward together with Dell Technologies and VMware. David, thanks for coming on. John, great to see you. Thanks for sharing insight. Great, great keep conversation. We're talking encryption, we're talking about edge and supply chain as well. Great stuff, great conversation. Thanks for coming on. Thank, Thank you so much, well. John. Okay, this is a CUBE conversation. I'm John Furrier with theCUBE. You're watching CUBE coverage. Thank you so much for watching.